In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Doing a thing for the podcast. Dude, just say the name. <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. Hey, Mikey. Did you know that I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts? Doodly doodly. 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 <laughs> and do you know what I do with them? Do you put them in a row? I stand them all in a row. Oh, dang. I've what, got, are the, what are the sizes? I've got big ones. I've got small ones. How big though? Some as big as your head. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! What's up, everybody? Yeah. We are the Freedom Friends, and it is time for another Freedom Friends Master Debate. Hey, Johnny boy. <laughs> Johnny, what are we gonna do? Fucking masturbate, boys! Hey, <laughs> there he is. There he is. Because what the fuck else are you gonna do during this lockdown, quarantine, bullshit, <laughs> one world government, whatever the fuck conspiracy you got <laughs> gun, fucking, fucking going on? Shit. <laughs> but as you can tell, we are all still alive and kicking, which means we are coming to you at not even fucking close to live from where, Jazz? One of my favorite places on earth. The Warfighter Tobacco Studios in Oso oh Free, even to this day. Uh, San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> there it there is. There it is. Yeah, buddy. There it is. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? On this debate, I think I'm going to do something a little different when we open this up. I would like to thank a couple of true believers. Yeah. A couple of guys that we've thanked before, but you know what? God damn it. Every week, week after week, episode after episode, they continue to come back. They continue to listen to the show. They continue to comment when we go live. They continue to do all that kind of stuff. And I think that kind of freedom sport deserves some fucking love. Uh, yeah, absolutely. To all those moms out there. One of them is a free man. To all those moms one of out them there listening. <laughs> Is a free man. Chris Freeman. Yep. We fucking love you, buddy. Yep. Uh, Oscar. Yeah. We fucking love My you man too, Oscar, man. Oscar, miss your face, bud. I Over do. Here stuck I do. In fucking quarantine. Can't see your silly I eyes. fucking love you, bud. And I haven't talked to you in a while and I fucking miss you. Uh, to our boy up in Maine, who's still holding it down solid and, uh, right. and chiming in. Fucking love that guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, How about Jack up in Canada? Jack up in Canada. Hope you guys are all right with your fucking coronavirus fucking prime minister. Yeah. <laughs> up there. It's Good. England, dude. Good luck. It's England. Uh, oh, That's yeah, all right. to be with you. We're His work- wife's. Yeah. Geopolitics corona. is fucking yeah. next episode. That's fine. Right. <laughs> We're fine. But, uh, and to all you moms out there listening, John is single. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can hit him up. He just, learned a, a, he just learned a new move on the last show, so <laughs> you're in luck. I forgot what it's called, but... <laughs> at Freedom Friends on just about... Every, at Freedom Friends Podcast on just about every social media platform. Snow cone. You can, oh, uh, so you can get a hold of, of John Simons. Flacon de neige. Flacon de neige. Uh, John is uh, six foot plus. Of a uh, fucking man love and knows how to slap and flow con de neige. <laughs> I got my loafers ready. And uh, he's ready to demonstrate. Like very fine. <laughs> he's ready to demonstrate on uh, FaceTime, Skype, Facebook Live. Oh, this is no, 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 no. These, they, these are only performed live. You, these aren't dem- demonstrated pre. And uh, uh, we might turn you into a fucking pay per view episode. So uh, just fucking uh, yeah, be prepared. There's, there's a waiver you have to sign at the beginning. Potentially money involved. Submit only if you own a pair. Of, <laughs> if you own a pair or are willing to buy John a pair of brogue loafers. Yes. yes. <laughs> yep. I will Similar. supply the rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, shit. And to all the rest of you freedom friends out there that are continuing to let our downloads actually. Go up instead of down. Yeah, it's awesome. We fucking love you. We, we really don't know do. who you are. We and really so do. you should fucking send us a message or find us on Facebook because uh, we want to know what the fuck's going on with you because we think it's absolutely fucking baffling that anybody's listening to us. <laughs> Nobody's more surprised than we are. <laughs> <laughs> right? But we fucking appreciate it. And that brings us squarely to one of the most useless parts of your week. <laughs> 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 Four fucking morons talking about nothing. <laughs> Four fucking idiots trying to decide uh, the proper questions of the week, and that brings us to the oh so sensual, the oh so sexual. That's your brother, dude. The, <laughs> right? oh the oh so Thank impotent. You, <laughs> the oh so. See, you didn't let me incestuous. finish the joke. <laughs> you didn't let me finish the joke because you got in too early. Because I was going to say the oh so impotent. <laughs> Still. That's Justin, weird, what do you got? I'm so conflicted now. I don't <laughs> <laughs> conflicted. Fuck. 
be running. Uh, <laughs> Dude, what? Be, I was laying down groundwork in case it doesn't work out. I'd be terrified. I, I, pre- I appreciate yeah, that. You got to have a Bravo plan, man. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, boys. Egress. So. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? What do we got? Oh, what's, our, what's our master debate question of the week? I'm trying to get there right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck That's me. what she said. So speaking of jazz, people believing in us. I want to know, what are some conspiracy theories that y'all believe in? Oh, God. That we believe in? I don't know if I believe in any of them. What are, what are some conspiracy theories that... What are we fans of that, right now? That hold some weight behind them. All right. All right, Scott, I got to know. The magic bullet. Well, <laughs> obviously... I, there, I have a conspiracy theory about, shot, about <laughs> Scott. Blah. Oh, we'll get to that. Yeah. Hold on. I don't want to hear this story. Scott... What conspiracy things do you have, buddy? Well, I, I have a I'm feeling a lot of current events uh swirl around the not so suicide of old Jeffrey Epstein. Yes. And uh a lot of uh media deflection. Suicide or not say. suicide, Epstein didn't kill himself. No, did not kill himself. Uh yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, fuck you know, I, I'm too uh I don't know, fuck conspiracy theories, whatever. Uh, somebody's lying all the time, so everything's conspiracy theory. I don't think it's a conspiracy theory at all to say that Epstein didn't kill himself. No, but I think that I think it filters down to even current events. Really? Yeah. All right. Like this whole Corona thing too. Like, I don't know. It's uh, a handy distraction. Yeah, it's a handy distraction. <laughs> a lot of distractions. Uh, so let's not forget that in the middle of this Corona thing, fucking Putin was somehow put in office until twenty thirty six. <laughs> right I like nobody's talking about that shit yeah no, I don't know that fuck. the naked horseback rider is somehow the president of a fucking other superpower for- I, I saw a, uh, a conspiracy theory about him actually oh that shit he, about Putin? He's, yeah he self-injected himself with the COVID-19 self-injected so he, is kind of what the fuck he goes with himself he gave himself fucking COVID-19 um, so that way because he's just a, a you know God given beast and Specimen of a is, man, yeah. yeah, and so he'll um, develop a uh, antivirus to it in, inside of his body, and then breastfeed the whole entire Russian population <laughs> and give them the uh, the vaccine. Too. I've heard about this movie. Yeah. Broke back Putin. <laughs> sounds fucking. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like gonna be a banger of a movie. Just saying. <laughs> That's why Pornhub's free right now. <laughs> I still lean on XNNXX, XNXX.com. Still superior. X hamster. Give us money. X hamster. <laughs> X hamster. X hamster. Well, I so, hate to be a current hamster. <laughs> well, maybe former hamster. <laughs> I prefer booty call hamster. And the hamster know, so. formerly known as. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, you got a conspiracy theory over there, buddy? Dude, what do you I, believe in right now? I have a million. I don't know if I believe in any. What are you digging right now? What am I digging right now? Um. Well... I mean, there's there's a lot surrounding the Epstein thing, which which that's are, not a which conspiracy theory, man. That's just he's still alive. And whether he's <laughs> like, alive, that, that one right there, that one right there, that's that's a funny one. Yeah, to, to that's talk the funny about. one is that he's still alive. That uh, he's fucking for, uh, he's in witness protection or whatever. I think uh, my my most uh, the only thing of I one, believe is that he very much did not kill himself. I think my most current one that I'm most enthralled with. Is that Carol killed her husband? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's that a conspiracy theory. That, bitch, that, that bitch did it. <laughs> Pull the septic tank. That's all I'm fucking right, saying. Like, fucking something. Pump I'm those not tiger saying, stomachs. Look, I'm not saying you need to free the Tiger King. I'm just saying you should go dig up the septic tank. Like, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. all a bunch of garbage. Yeah. Fucking I think individuals. They're both fucked like, up. I think. I think the world would be potentially better without any of those people in that documentary, I except think, for the Walmart manager no i think the he only the only normal <laughs> he was the, a guns and ammo manager the only <laughs> semi-normal dude on that whole thing was the drug dealer that had his own personal collection of fucking exotic animals because he right. got caught yeah. and then he went to jail and he got out and he's like yeah i fucking slung drugs i moved fucking weight but i can talk about it now because i already did my fucking like, time tony right? montana was yeah. based on me it was like holy fuck by the way don't watch that show and drink at the same time no shit dude <laughs> so because here was my thing they brought up that dude uh the club owner that was an investor in the bar or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, well, I own strip clubs. And I did this, that, and the other. And I'd been drinking a little bit by the time I'd watch on the show. I was sitting there going like... I bet his strip clubs weren't as classy as the Yellow Rose. Well, that was my thing. Is I was like, the dude's name was like Jason or some shit. And I was like... 
Jeff Lowe. No, that was the other guy. The strip club owner, not Jeff Lowe. Jeff, Jeff Lowe was the guy the, that was. He stole the zoo. He stole the zoo and <laughs> smuggled tigers into Vegas for for celebrities on to hang bus. out with. I'm pretty, on a sure, party bus. I'm pretty sure Jeff was a strip club owner. No, he wasn't. Jeff Lowe was not. Jeff Lowe was the dude in all the affliction gear. Trust me, I'll never yeah, forget that, that one. Yeah. No, the investor, the other investor, the dude with the parted hair down the middle. Hmm. Oh, 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 the fat guy. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, I managed strip clubs and bars and da da da. I was like, Yeah, the one that turned oh. informant. Yeah, yeah, the one that, that Yeah, you're right, I'm wrong. The one that turned yeah, yeah. uh yeah, the one that turned uh yeah. state's evidence or whatever. I was like, Didn't he say that he owned bars in Texas? If that motherfucker's part of the yellow rose, I can't support that institution anymore. Like <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta don't drink and watch that show. I It'll fuck qu- with your life. Gotta, like, don't I do that. Question for you boys. Because I don't for a minute think that there's anything going on with the yellow rose other than a class establishment with high quality entertainment that scouts the globe to bring you the best in a intimate dining experience. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Though it's still never been there, but <laughs> <laughs> we're going to fix that. So I got a question for you boys. So that dude owned a bunch of strip clubs, got somehow involved in the whole tiger, whatever the fuck. And now one's a swap meet that's selling shit that fell off the back of a truck James with a lemur. Garretson. That guy. Yeah, that's James, yeah. James, yeah. But then turned state's evidence. Yeah. Right, became a CI. That dude turned quicker than fuck, too, man. Hear me out. Hear me out. I mean, come on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Say you get somehow involved in all of that fucking bullshit, and the FBI comes and knocks on your door one day. What do you do with those fucking that that exact? You you are in his place. I burn them all. Oh yeah. I fucking burn them all. Yeah. I'd be like. I'd be like, look, I'm fucking exhausted from talking to these people. I would, I would literally <laughs> be like, you know, I don't even want anything out of this. Yeah. Just don't charge me with anything. Yeah. But here, let me get you some shit. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd burn them all. There's some people that I'd fucking go down for. The Freedom Friends. Yeah. Yeah, I'd cover. For, I'd cover. I'd cover for you guys. Fucking. And there's evidence right there. Fucking if anything ever happens, it could be like, well, you said run in the shirt that you fucking. I didn't say shit. I That's just said I wouldn't God say answer. anything. Yeah. This, this whole episode is satire, by the way. Yeah. Yep. You know, you know <laughs> I, I want to go back because you, you threw me to the conspiracy thing before I really had time to think about it. But I have I have a good one now that I think is actually what you got, buddy? a conspiracy. I think the biggest conspiracy today is that the Democratic Party thinks Joe Biden is a viable candidate for president. <laughs> I don't know if that's a conspiracy so much as a delusion. Well, it's got it's got to be a conspiracy because no, the delusional part is that they uh, think he's viable as president of the United States. <laughs> what are their other options? Bernie. That's the delusional part. Yeah, <laughs> the conspiracy is Biden. The yeah. delusional is Bernie. Yeah. Yeah. Like you look at it and you're just like, here's your options. I would rather have the Tiger King. Dude. As one of the goddamn yeah. candidates. Dude, he would have a fucking chance. <laughs> uh, that's that's fucking, insane. Probably, At least he admits why he, he sniffs people. Judge. Dude. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it, we don't get political on the show. But yeah, of course not. Fuck the man. whole situation right now, you're just like, <laughs> you've got to be fucking kidding me. Right. Like, Dude. We're stone cold when you need it. You. you got like, a child sniffer and a, and a, and a commie and a, and a crazy old white guy. And a crazy old the, commie. The, the, the People for the <laughs> like, I don't get it. Uh, I don't get it. This this is how you get four more years of Trump, there, kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, fucking. That's why. Yeah. That's why all this shit happened. My, I have a friend or a former army buddy that posted like, oh, Trump was the 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 president that managed to have the the biggest decline in the in the stock market and let all the p- pandemic shit happen. And yeah, decline like, from the highest it ever yeah, was too. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, shit, it's still better than 2008 right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're goddamn like, delusional. Fuck. Yeah. Like what's wrong with you? Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on now. Um, so Scott, yeah. I have a conspiracy theory question for you. All right, all right. Do you think we went to the moon? Yes. And I'm asking you because I'm assuming that you watched it live. <laughs> I did not see it live. <laughs> just cross legged in front of a black and white TV. Turn the channel. Just, click, click. just in case you have forgotten, I'm two years older than you. Yeah. <laughs> two years. Two years. Two but years. To go back to your conspiracy theory. Yeah. That they think that all that shit's viable and all that kind of stuff. If you really want to, here, I'm going to spin up a new conspiracy theory. Ooh. Oh, let's do it. Let's start one. That there's no actual division between the political parties. Okay. That it's actually 
a unified front uh, on the political parties. It's pretty hard to see. And by the opposing party of the current president, the candidates that they're putting up are so non-viable to hold presidency. Yeah, they want to keep him in office. That it keeps him in office in order for to the continued manipulation of a global population based on those policies. I mean, because let's be real. The president of America is basically the president of the world. It, look, whatever let's, let's we do. It. Let's call it what it is. What we do. <laughs> Not trying to sound like a big deal or anything. Like, no, uh, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. We are the only legitimate superpower left. There is no other major superpower. You could argue that China is an. Look at China. They you just, could argue as China just released a global pandemic. <laughs> is an economic superpower. Yeah. However, if you really want to dig into it, the biggest conspiracy theory that I dig is that that release. Okay, let's roll this back just a minute. In the 2016 campaign, 2015, 2016 campaign, because fucking campaigns now essentially last for fucking ever yeah. Yeah. by the time the election happens i no longer give a fuck way longer than it, they used to yeah they start in, like three years in advance it's insane yeah. yeah what was one of the huge things that trump talked about the wall, the wall. No. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be uh, huge <laughs> huge huge things huge. there was actually another one that he talked about more than just the wall uh, uh Hillary and that Clinton's was moving that was moving manufacturing back to america back right. to america and out yeah. of china yeah by shutting China's manufacturing capability down, what has it forced? The coronavirus. A global pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's it's forced. It's but forced what hand jobs. has it forced? It's forced. Oh, the economic side of things. Yeah. It's forced everything to come back to <laughs> domestic solutions for economy. Eh, corona. What do you mean? Eh. eh. There's not a single country we can import from right now. Yeah. Not one. And it just got extended for another 30 days. The economic engine of the United States cannot shut down for that long. Uh, I have a shipment from China coming in in 18 days. You, it may hit port in 18 days. That doesn't mean shit. All right, we'll see. I don't know. My wish.com uh, uh, crotchless panties That's that different. I ordered for myself. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. From your came. Facebook ad? <laughs> Those came in. I think they're so, called cockless panties. Yes. Okay, but you're talking about, you're talking about minor shit. I mean... To you, it's huge. I'm not dis. I'm not downgrading no, I, what you're accomplishing. I, I, I guess I didn't hear that they shut down imports of anything. I mean, we just got word today that everything out of Bangladesh is, yeah, for at least two weeks. Yeah, you're not going to see anything coming out of Bangladesh, which yep. is the number one textile producing facility in the world. I'm a little upset about my hats. Can't happen. I I do have a, uh, a so spinoff your conspiracy theory. Essentially, oh. everything. So if you're going to look at these conspiracy theories that are running, is that all of this was a push to actually start. Uh, domestic influx, not just our country, but all countries, of becoming self-reliant. So it's actually to trim down global economy. Huh. So... And what's the end goal? Well, at that point, the, the, only, the only country For that could... all countries? Well, if you want to talk about economic destabilization, China cannot exist... On its economic platform, if it doesn't have export, well, it doesn't have a large enough domestic economy due to its economic setup to actually support its infrastructure. Right. So this is they the, can't do it. So this is a final so, push to get rid of the last beacon of communist superpower. It would shut the down their economy. It would, that is the last. It communist would literally. It, it's the last one that's, that's a considered a superpower that's arguably functional, and it's or, not really functional when you have ninety five percent of your population <laughs> living in destitution. Yeah. Or so, but or, by making companies become self reliant, it also shifts where all of the import export trade starts to happen. Yeah. So textile manufacturing starts going to Central and South America, all of that kind of stuff. It shuts it off. So the the conspiracy theory that actually, especially when you start looking at Fortune five hundred CEO pushes. All of that kind of stuff, where those functions are starting to happen, where manufacturing is having to be shifted to to be able to happen, the economic downshift that we've seen in cost of goods delivery. So nobody's talking about the fuel war that's now going on because Russia is suddenly in the game with oil because they've unlocked that thing that happened in the Borean Tundra. Yep. The largest fuel, the largest raw oil reserve in the planet is actually in the Borean Tundra in Russia, does not exist in the Middle East, but OPEC has essentially had all that locked up. They no longer are the power within that. That's why we've seen a dollar drop in fuel costs. 
all of that kind of stuff for delivery of goods, uh, intercontinental travel, just continental travel, all of that stuff. The cost of goods has been driven down. Do you think this all started with tariffs? Uh, like it was like laying groundwork the theory. It just, seri- it just seems kind of right. It became overly expensive to do those imports for domestic manufacturing. So you had to look seems, at domestic solutions. Yeah, you had to start cha- changing partners because those tariffs weren't global. Yeah. They were only in certain regions. Yeah. And it, it just so happens to be the regions that are now presently right. cut off. So uh, if you so, want to look at viable gonna, conspiracy theories, it is not. I'm going to blow you guys' mind. You can't be at home. You have to be at home. You have to do this, that and the other. It's if you're going to look at a distraction effort where where it happens, it is not in the superstars that you're seeing. Because do you guys know anybody with the coronavirus? Yeah. Yeah. Do one you? dude in Arizona. Yep. You know one guy? Yeah. And he's not bullshitting. He's yeah. straight up dude. Yeah. He's got it. Yep. Or had it. He's over it. He's over it. He had the diabetes, too. They're actually now saying that any of you guys in like January, late January, early February that had that like three, four day cold where you're like, fucking this cold sucks. Yeah, you got the corona. That was probably... COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. And you so, got over it and it was fine. To, to so the funny thing was, is that when I wasn't here for that episode and there was like that three days where I like, I didn't get out of bed and exactly fucking 30, cough wouldn't stop exactly and whatever. 30 days so ago. And it was, good. it was like 45 days ago or whatever. There's a strong chance that I held that Corona strain. So when I was making fun of you for having coronavirus, I probably had COVID-19. I was, I was not being erroneous. I knew <laughs> I should not have kissed you. Yeah. So <laughs> to piggyback on your, on your, uh, so my favorite conspiracy theory is actually that it's, everybody's looking at the, the hand that you're being shown and going, that's the conspiracy theory. But the big one is that it's all a huge economic push and the political spectrum and then propping up a bunch of candidates that there's no way they're actually viable for presidency would maintain the motion of rebooting uh, an economic standard that has priced goods outside the availability of most of the population on of the, the globe on the domestic driven side. the prices down on almost everything, allowing the middle, the lower and middle class to become the economic driver on a domestic international level, not just ours, but the lower to middle class domestic buying power has been driven through the roof Whereas it did become a higher percentage buying market and everybody else was trying to pick up the crumbs. Hmm. It reboots the economic status. So to piggyback off your conspiracy theory about the the one party system. Right. And yours off of the last push to eliminate communism. Yeah. I'm going to spin it a little bit. Right. So we have a communist that is a potential presidential candidate. Socialist. Communist. Okay. Same fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just I so, don't I don't want us to be viewed as slanderous. He is an admitted democratic socialist. Communist. <laughs> However, people want to define it. That's what he's admitted yeah. to being is a is a democratic socialist. So which by the way, there is not a representative means of that in the world of democratic socialism. And stop saying fucking Sweden. Because they stopped that shit in the 80s. Yeah, right. That's just not a thing. And it lasted for like six years and they saw that it collapsed their fucking economy so, and they just recovered. So Bernie gets elected. We turn into China as a leading communist fucking country in the world. Take over the enti- entire world. Make it a communist fucking world. End of story. It doesn't accomplish anything, though. No, it doesn't. But the people in fucking politics don't want to accomplish you anything Texas. anyway. You got to get through Texas, motherfucker. The really motherfucker. loud 2% that's trying to dodge their student loans right now, they think it's fucking brilliant. Because somehow they don't understand that when you take a loan... You have to pay it. You have to pay it back. Like, I can't go, well, I shouldn't have to pay for my car because I need it to get to work. You're right. <laughs> I also didn't need to take out the loan to buy the car I have. I could have gotten a fucking Kia... I didn't. Yeah. I decided to buy the car I wanted because that's what made me feel good. So my payment, my payment is way higher than it needed to be if I decided to go buy like a base oh. model Kia. So you take out a loan. You have to pay the loan back. We had a whole fucking episode about you guys fucking your freedom day. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you had an investor that you bought out. Yeah. That's yeah. the same basic principle. You had an amount of money that you owed. You got rid of that amount of money in order to get out from underneath what was restricting you. Yeah. Right. Like yeah, yeah. same basic principle, right? Mm. You wanted something. You took the money you needed to be able to get it. 
You pay it off and then you get to celebrate because you sacrificed to get there. You guys sacrificed a shit ton to get out from underneath that. Yeah, we just did taxes. It was ugly. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you guys could have done a lot of other things than pay that off early. Yeah. I mean, oh, you could have. You, you, seriously. You know how much blow I could have got? Right. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But that's just the way it is. So it doesn't accomplish anything. But from an economic reset thing, that's the conspiracy theory that I looked at and was like, woo. <laughs> It's like a conspiracy theory about Scott. Because the problem is that okay. when a conspiracy theory yeah. boils down to math, I okay, this is what one. I this is what I want to close the show on here. <laughs> yes. There's a conspiracy theory about Scott. About our own Scott. Jansen. Please tell me that this conspiracy yeah. oh, theory uh, do tell <laughs> is the reason that he can shoot so well is that he's actually been shooting it, it actually, at it, people it in goes, the last like it six goes wars. Along with shooting also that he's immortal. Not, a, not with the last six wars, but. Um, that he and Matt Groening are both time travelers. No, and actually yeah. he started it, and it's great because he's people the real lose life their Wolverine. People lose their shit. People lose their shit over it. His middle name's Logan. Scott can shoot a one whole group, a one, a one shot. shot, one whole group at any distance with any weapon. And any ammo. Yep. Okay. That's yeah. because he's been practicing on those since World War One. That's it. But what was it like to design? Yeah. What was it what was but it like to design the grand? What about like Wolf Steelcase? He's like, yeah, no problem. Easy. Can he? Yeah, yeah. One I shot, one whole group. Any, any distance, any, any gun, distance. any ammo, one doesn't shot. fucking matter. Uh, listen to what they're saying. <laughs> well. God one shot, one whole That's group. That's your fucking conspiracy. You fucking <laughs> a, <plain laughs> world, a dad joke. Dude, people lose their You shit. made a dad joke I, I as have, your conspiracy theory. I'm have, so disappointed in you. How did you not pick up on that earlier? <laughs> I have upset the internet time oh God, and time go again. Ballistic. I can shoot a one shot, one whole group with any ammunition. In any distance. I, I fucking believe it. Yeah. Do you know why? Because I could too. Yeah, because anybody can. <laughs> yeah, a fucking dad joke, John. No. Come on, man. Here's your. Here's my conspiracy theory. <laughs> is I have seen Facebook pictures going back like, well, Facebook just turned ten, right, or whatever. And I've been shown pictures. I've been shown pictures off your phone uh -oh. that you have. Of who? Who? Of, and Scott, Scott doesn't look any fucking different. <laughs> Scott never changed. <laughs> he hasn't changed. Scott looks the same. In the past couple of years, he picked up a couple of grays. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, but that could be just for men. Just, right. like, he, can, he could be touch a gray in that man uh, on like on purpose. Like, so he might be like my conspiracy theory is, time. is that there's a couple of humans that have yeah. been born that and have the ability just to travel through, I like Matt Groening. And I the Simpsons. I think the rest of us are in the Matrix, and motherfuckers like him and Matt Growing are like not. We're programmers. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking ridiculous. So they just fucked up and got stuck where they're at. The <laughs> reason he can shoot so well, because he wrote it, is because <laughs> yeah, he's been there since the beginning. So I only have like one question: What was it like to design like the Grand? Like, what was that process like? Well, like, was it John Browning was a good friend of mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were the first person to shoot a pterodactyl. <laughs> did, when you when you told Michelangelo to paint that ceiling, <laughs> did you want the balls showing or not? Nah? <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course I did. So, I mean, what was Heckler and Koch like? I mean, the the, the Renaissance had like, to be because there's just way too many dicks. Did Caesar get <laughs> stabbed or did they shoot him? Was it at two, Scotty? <laughs> Fuck you guys! Yeah. Like Franz Ferdinand. Like was that like? Does that really go down? How it was? I am two years older than you. Or was that like? Was that like you in a tower? Like I don't. I'm just curious. The magic bullet theory. It was actually Scott it was on Scott, the grassy Scott knoll. Scott was the second shooter. He was on the grassy yeah. knoll. <laughs> He was like we actually, we fucking were, Democrats. When we were in Iraq, we had, a, we had a, uh, an OP that was called the Grassy Knoll. <laughs> Coincidence? I, know, I think right? not. It's Could all you, going full circle. I'm just, there had to be a better name than Mosin Nagant. Like it's just, it doesn't roll <laughs> off the tongue. Like why did you go with that, dude? Like I'm just curious. Like, like I get Kalishnikov. That was the dude's name. <laughs> but like really, you couldn't come up with something else. I got, I got nothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. Oh. Yeah. So what essentially boils down to is uh, if conspiracy theories are getting you off, fucking more power don't to you. Don't ask us because no. we don't fucking yeah, know. Yeah, we don't fucking know. <laughs> if, if you listen to this and you took anything away from it, you, you sir, yeah, you are a up. moron. Yeah, yeah you're, you're all, the reason all I know that there is, are conspiracy theories. is that if this virus continues, 
And it, it does it does boil down if to this podcast continues. I <laughs> hope the virus takes me. <laughs> <laughs> COVID takes oh, me. Is, <laughs> if this if this continues and it comes down to uh shots having to be placed on fucking target, I know exactly whose fucking house I'm going to. And Scotty Boy, you're who I'm relying on to provide that coverage. I'll have you on Overwatch any day, man. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I, all I require is an escalator to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and two bottles of Jameson. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he could outshoot me fucking if he was hammered and I was fucking That's free. the best way to do it. Way like, do it. Best way to do Don't get me wrong. I'm no slouch with a rifle. And, 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 look, you, and you've seen it. I'm and, fucking, I'm fucking look, if above we're, average. If we're talking pistol, on the other if, hand. Pistol, not so much. If we're talking <laughs> rifle. You, you were talking top shot before uh, the last episode. I actually thought about applying for top shot. Yeah, I think you could have fucking dominated that shit. Plus, you're just so like you are so mellow and even keeled. That I don't think you would have gotten caught up in the politics part of that show. Oh, I think that's written. No, some of it's written. Some of it, though, like that the English guy that won series one, like okay. season one. If you notice, he didn't do anything but just like show up and do his job. Like he kept everything just very. Did they invite him back? No, because no. he wasn't. That's why. You know, fantastic enough. <laughs> he wasn't the but, Tiger King. But he just. <laughs> but the problem was, is that at the end of the day, like you have to make the shot. Yeah. Like they, they do write the politics in for the drama piece, but that dude just like any weapon, any time could adapt and just make the shot. Yeah. Like that was the whole thing. And that's Scott. And that's Scott. Like, that's why I think you would have done fucking fantastic on that show. Um, there wasn't much running required. So, yeah, I think I would have done. <laughs> there was that one hill climb, but that yeah. was it. The, uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I think you would have done fine. Uh but yeah, if you're listening to us thinking that our conspiracy that we're fucking vouching for any particular conspiracy yeah, theory, no. no, I think generally speaking, 99 percent of the world are fucking morons, including the four people around this fucking bar, and that's why. And how? <laughs> and I think that's why I said there's so much weird shit out there. Uh, if you want to know how to shoot, fucking call Scott. You want to know how to drink, fucking call Mikey or John. You want to know how to fucking? It's probably true. You want to know how to talk shit. I can call me. I'll probably fucking be able to square you away. Just, give, give Jazz a shot Just first. give Jazz one shot and wait 30 seconds. Oh, we didn't tell that story. About, no. Oh, yeah, we did. We did tell that yeah, story about you giving me a shot of St. Patrick's Day. Dude, it's, it's fucking magical. But uh, <laughs> just make sure that if you're going to learn to talk shit for me, you have friends that are twice your size. Yeah. <laughs> so because somebody's getting in a fight. But uh, do you know the one conspiracy theory that I do know? Ask and this your, is abso ask, absolutely. Ask <laughs> I don't have a sister. Wait nine months, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what are you gonna have? That's not a conspiracy theory. No, that yeah, happened. That's not a conspiracy theory. <laughs> it's not a conspiracy theory. I fucked your mom. That's, but the one conspiracy theory that I know 100% is absolutely true is that all single one of you beautiful sons of bitches is a freedom friend. <laughs> And I fucking thank you for it. Oh, thank God this is over. <laughs> 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 Cheers, boys. Tune in next time for the uh, Freedom Friend Master Debates. Catch us on uh, wherever your podcasts are at. We are the Freedom Friends. Uh, tell your mom. Tell, tell your friends. friends. Tell your mom's friends. Absolutely. Forego that <laughs> review for at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Why are you telling all your people? Do me a favor. Tell your mama said thanks. Yeah. And fucking until next time. Tell your little sister that'll be here in 10 months. Smoke ten on, months. drink on, and Mikey. You freedom to fuck on, guys. That's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs>